What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you're subscribed so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a few news stories for you and a question. So without further ado, let's jump into the tech news. Our first story of the day is about YouTube TV. It seems like the cost of traditional streaming television that you can get has gone up to the point where it's actually more expensive than cable and it keeps getting more expensive just like cable was and the latest in line is YouTube TV because today they put out a notice that they are increasing the price of their television cost to $72.99 per month and if you look at this little chart right here they started off in 2017 at 35 dollars a month which is very economical and then it went all the way up to 72.99 and just it, that's basically doubled and more in a matter of about five or six years that is pretty wild and then you also got to take into consideration that this actually goes into effect on April 18th. So it's literally a month away before these prices go into effect. So if you have YouTube TV, expect to start paying more, unfortunately. A lot of you guys that follow me already have a lot of Samsung devices. I know that's mainly why you might uh, follow my channel. And a lot of you have older Samsung devices, but what about One UI 6? Are you or are you not gonna get One UI 6? Because a lot of these devices, actually some of them I'm actually shocked aren't gonna get these updates anymore. And here we go, here's the list and it's a long list and it's a lot of popular phones, S10 Lite, S20, S20 Fan Edition, all the S20s actually, Note 10 Lite, Note 20 series, Z Flip, the original one, Z Fold 2, a22, 32, 51, 71, the Tab A8, A7 Lite, S6 Lite, S7 and S7 Plus. That one really surprises me that those are not gonna get One UI 6. So if you have one of these devices, again, you will get more security updates, but you won't get any more feature updates that you get in One UI. Kind of a disappointment. Apple still produces and, and gives a lot of updates for a lot of their old phones as well. So um, yeah, unfortunately, if you wanna get updates, like features and things that will be added throughout One UI, you're gonna to wanna to have to upgrade your device. Your question of the day is, how often do you upgrade your phone and your tablet? Let me know in the comments down below. Phones for me, it's you know usually once or twice a year. Um, and then with my tablet, usually once a year, sometimes every other year. It depends on how excited I am about the tablet. Um, but let me know about you guys in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get into our Q&A. We only have one question today and it is from, what is that name on there? Edgar, he's saying his Z Fold 4 has been glitchy. How can he fix that well so it's probably due to some updates so let's be honest about that um, sometimes when new updates get uh, pushed out you get some glitchiness so make sure you restart your device that's one thing you can do right off the bat if you notice it's happening within certain apps or something like that you can go in and check like just delete that app or clear the data and cache in that app and then re-download it or um, re-sign into it if it's happening just randomly throughout the os have it be in the camera or some other place uh, if it's a camera you can always reset that as well you can always reset the app if it seems to be happening there but if it's just happening randomly throughout the operating system you have a couple, your main, you're probably the clearest option would be to completely reset your phone, factory reset it and reset it up, but it might still happen at that point. Otherwise, honestly, you probably have to wait until they push out a brand new update for your phone before hopefully that the, the glitchiness goes away. <clears throat> Mine hasn't been too bad. So uh, otherwise it would be a little bit more specific. Maybe I can help you more directly. Thanks for your questions. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below, hashtag question, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.